Hello, this is Cityscape, a regular vodcast featuring people, places, and ideas that impact Livonia. I'm Dan West with the Livonia Chamber of Commerce. Today we are at Metro United Karate, owned by a former Detroit police officer who has combined his passions for family and martial arts into a successful Livonia business. We are joined today by Askia Allison, who has run his karate instruction business for 10 years, Metro United Karate on middle belt between five mile and six mile. In the same strip center, he also runs Livonia Kickboxing, which he opened two years ago. Askia, his father, John, and 16 year old son, Dallas, are among the instructors at Metro United Karate who lead classes for people of all ages. They also lead a dynamic after school program that provide daycare focused on homework, discipline, and karate. Askia, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Uh, can you tell us what developed your passion for karate and how you got your father into it? Uh, you know, it's funny you should ask that. Uh, my passion for martial arts started back with probably most mid 40 year olds with martial arts movies. So mm -hmm. I was an avid Bruce Lee fan and I would bug my father to enroll me in martial arts classes. So when you say what got me to get him started it was actually him that got me started. And he would sit in the classes and watch me train mm -hmm. and then eventually decided to uh, train himself. And earning our black belts together was one of the highlights of my martial arts career. Tom. Uh, tell me more about this after school program you developed and why you found karate to be a, such a, a central component to it. The after school karate program was, you know, as a parent, it was answering a need that the community had. Uh, many people needed latchkey services and a lot of the latchkey programs just kind of missed that component of structure or discipline. It was a free for all for the kids. Uh, so we were picking the students up from their area schools, busing them here to our facility. They received a healthy snack, had assistance with their homework, and then the key tenets of martial arts uh, was something that the parents really enjoyed. Focus, discipline, self-control, uh, being able to combat some of the things that the children were facing in school, like bullying and helping them just to become assertive students. What kind of feedback did you get from the families of the young people that you trained? You know, initially it, it started out great. Um, mm -hmm. We serviced a few small schools in the Redford area, South Redford, Redford Union districts, then it branched out to some of the charter schools, and then we became a partner in education with Livonia Public Schools. And at that time, it really just kind of grew. So we started to take on about 30 students that we were picking up from a few different area schools, busting them in, and the parents absolutely loved it. Karate has helped my children with focus, uh, you know, paying attention, discipline, building confidence. It's, it's helped them with respect for leadership. Also just, you know, the physical advantages as well, just being able to keep them busy, especially during this time, um, you know, just keeping them active. So it's, it's been great for us. When they first started after a week or two, and we were driving home from here. I live about 45 minutes away, but knowing how Metro United Karate is, I'm willing to take the drive. But, but one of the examples asked my son Dylan to do something uh, in the background. I said, Dylan, and the first thing he said was, yes, sir. And he, and he kind of like, you know, hesitated to say like, wait, wait a minute, what am I saying? And I said, you know, and I was, I was definitely pleased to kind of see that, uh, him internalize that. What makes it so gratifying for you to see that kind of reaction from the families and the students? It is definitely intrinsic value. So when a parent brings a kid in and they say, well, my, my child is, is shy or reserved and we get this opportunity to see them uh, become assertive or a parent comes in to pick a kid up and the kid is saying, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. And they say, Who's, whose kid is that? <laughs> um, and that, you know, that's your kid. That was yeah. the, the discipline, the structure, and the focus that you wanted at home, and then we're supporting that family vision. So it definitely feels good to help the families out in the community. Um, for someone who's interested in your karate programs, how can they reach out to you? Any and every way possible. We are on social media, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, best way, of course, is to give us a call at 734-744-6121 or visit our website at mukarate.com. Well, Skia Allison has turned his love of karate and his passion 
into a developing and growing business and is helping young people in the process of Skia. We uh, thank you for joining us today and we wish you continued success. Thank you very much for having us. And that's, we thank everyone for watching this episode of Cityscape. We'll see you next time.